Well, I've got a a, uh, a synthesizer habit too, which is which is uh, a little dangerous. <laughs> I started. Uh, uh, I took a bunch of uh, electronic music courses at the uh, U of I uh, under Scott Wyatt, and uh, we also used to do the work on electric comps and Hewlett Pack Packard. Um, uh, waveform generators and and uh, I, I always enjoyed kind of knowing a little bit about how the architecture of uh, creating sounds uh, um, <clears throat> how it applied to more modern machines and so I I really started getting into uh, collecting them a few uh, a few years ago this one's kind of funny because um, I ended up trading um, a uh, an upright bass with a great engineer producer uh, Gary Pachosa, and he had had this. I have this ARP 2600. Uh, do you know anyone who would want it? And uh, this is a semi modular uh, synthesizer from the 70s, and uh, people like Stevie Wonder, um, uh, even through Madonna, uh, used this. Uh, uh, this synthesizer on just uh, on tons and tons of, of uh, the Who. I think uh, the Who um, Who Are You is played through through one of these ARP 2600. And this one was actually owned what I'm what I understand by another Illinois <laughs> band. <laughs> and uh, uh, so it's hard to say. You know, it, it, you know, uh, probably. Uh, I imagine some of it is on those on those recordings, or or this may have been a touring rig at one point. But it's a crazy machine that still still uh, still works and is uh, useful. Uh -huh.